name is Mr. Kabuzi from Mityana Municipality. I want to thank you so much for boxing Zake. But next time, kick him harder. God bless you abundantly. <laughs> well, it is unfortunate that uh, when you ask me exactly what happened, I can't explain to you properly. Because personally, I left my home on Wednesday to attend Parliament. And uh, from nowhere, I was attacked. And that attack, I can't explain. Because I was seated, the man came, he started telling me to leave the seat. That I want to sit where I am seated. And as you know, that's where I sit. I used to sit with Honorable Cecilia Gual, the late, and may her soul rest in peace. And uh, Honorable Zake is a shadow cabinet minister in charge of pres presidency. And you know where shadow cabinet sits in front? And it doesn't make sense to me up to now why he came to me, he wanted me to leave that particular place. And to make matters worse, he started pushing me and saying stupid actually. I mean, I didn't understand. And that's a question that I have not gotten the answer why the man came to push me. And it is unfortunate. What happened, I'm not happy about, because that's not leaders should portray in Uganda. Especially as I listened from him that the fight was about where I was seated. I mean, like kids fighting, not members of parliament said, fighting for a seat. It doesn't make sense. I don't know, because I came when he was speaking. I found him order, order, order. I don't know whether he was occupying that place or not. So I sat where I sit. And that's where I sit always. So, and it doesn't make sense. And first of all, when I see him admitted in hospital, I don't understand. Because when you watch that video very well, after all the scuffle, the man was standing, was kicking. I wonder whether he was beaten by some other people, or is pretending to be badly off. I don't understand. But above all, why, if it is about the seat, why talk about stupid Acholi? It doesn't make sense. Why do you bring it to Acholi people? If I'm stupid, abuse me. I don't understand. So there are two perspectives. Number one, you cannot have lived a leg of, of a man. You better have lived a leg of a, a woman. It doesn't make sense for you to have lived, I mean, have lifting a leg of a man. But secondly, why talk about stupid actually? It doesn't make sense. And pushing me. You know, I, I, I am shocked what happened. But I think I'm not even surprised because the man was charged. You remember when he left the floor, he was already showing his blow. You know, it was a wrong, you know, I would say transfer of aggression. Maybe he wanted to attack the speaker. Why was he throwing blow in the air? I don't understand. So it's transfer of aggression. And unfortunately, he targeted a wrong person. That's the problem. You know, this is called reflect action. You can't say, is this the best option? Is this the worst option? It is called a reflect action. It happens there and then. So the next thing comes to your mind, it's late. It has happened. So you can't tell me, is it a solution to resolve a problem? No, that's not a solution. But when you attack, you respond. And that's what happened. The issue with me is very simple. I'm a very humble person but never attack me. When you attack me, it's like pushing an elephant. You will not survive. The same thing happened with Odongato, he kicked me. And it's happening with this man of lifting me, pushing me, that you can't survive. But I'm very humble. And you know, I don't quarrel with people. When you check my history, I don't quarrel with people. But don't attack me. I defend myself. So do you regret what happened on Wednesday? No. I'm actually expecting apology from Honorable Zake. Being somebody who is younger than me, actually his age is the age of my children. He's not right at all. Especially in an African setting. When an adult is sitting, even if I was seated where he was seated before, you give that respect. And above all, there was a space near me. 
And what surprises me up to now, because as he was pushing me, another person came and sat near me. Was it a setup on me? I don't understand. There was no need for him to push me when there is a space near me for him to sit on. He wasn't making sense at all. So why should I apologize? This is not the first time people who try to take me to court, they have failed, especially when you started fighting me. When Odongato went to court, the, the, the DPP said it was a, I mean, it was a scuffle. Like this one, he started fighting me, even if I want to go to court. So you're also planning to go to court? I don't want to. Why should I? There's no sense in it. But let him go ahead. A court of law is where we can resolve issues, and unfo unfortunately we are all members of parliament, we know the law. So there's no problem, let him go ahead. But my unfortunate issue, I'm not happy about the Speaker of Parliament of Uganda. Why am I suspended? When I'm attacked? I mean, it doesn't make sense. If I was the one who attacked somebody in the house, then you say my misconduct in the house. But I did not attack anybody. I'm appealing this, uh, this particular suspension. It doesn't make sense. I don't want it to go on record that I'm suspended because I'm attacked in the house. That would encourage more people to attack you because they know when you're attacked, you're also suspended. It doesn't make sense at all. But above all, I'm very disappointed that my contact has been circulated and supporters of Noob are trying to intimidate me, sending me threatening messages that I'm going to be killed, my family will be killed. I don't, I don't think. If it was an organized attack on me, maybe by Noob supporters, Oh, why do you bring a tribal? You're saying Baganda, and you are saying you are Cholis, you are stupid, you want to support President Museveni? I have never supported President Museveni. If anything, if any passion has suffered under leadership of President Museveni, it's actually people. Or our animals have been removed. Up to now, government has never compensated it. Actually, who used to be second up to Baganda in terms of resources, became the worst in the country. We have suffered on issue of APA. After now, it's not resolved. People have died. Many people have been jailed. We have issues of, uh, of poverty, that we are now 7% poor in the country. We are the worst in the country. How would you then think, the whole of me, the chairman of actually parliamentary group, you are saying we are supporting President Museveni? It is a known case in the country that the tribe that registered President Museveni from the beginning has been the actually people. Until 2021, that's when they voted. And he was being supported by the Baganda. So, you are sending me messages, threatening me, threatening the Acholi people, when we are suffering with issues of Balalu, taking over land in Acholi, Sabrito. It doesn't make sense. And I think people should not take this as a tribal thing. Not even the parties Noob versus FDC or versus Akol. I have never had a grudge with the FDC and the, and, the, and the Noob. I have never had a grudge with the Baganda. Maybe if there is, if there is any problem, I'm wondering whether Zake is a normal human being. Actually, I was requesting, and up to now I'm requesting, he needs to be checked by a mental specialist. Yes. How can, I mean, a, a member of parliament come and attack you over where you are seated? A seat. Even my children now in primary school don't fight over seats. And it's unfortunate that this is the news that we fought over where to sit in Parliament of Uganda. But I think I'm coming back to Parliament with emotion. I have been in Nigeria. I have been in the UK. I have been in South Africa and many parliaments. I mean, the sitting arrangement in the House is such a way that members have their name on where you sit. And if the House now is not enough, let the Parliament of Uganda get a appropriate space where all the seats are numbered so that you even know when a member of Parliament is absent in the house, his seat is empty. But not members of Parliament struggling over seats. It doesn't make sense at all. Because I don't believe that members of Parliament can fight over a chair when we can even buy a chairs. How? And as if you carry the chair from your home, it doesn't make sense. Completely no. I have already written my complaint to the speaker. The conduct 
that she is claiming that I misconducted myself is wrong. I was attacked in the house and I'm appealing the suspension and I actually call for the speaker to cancel that suspension on me. I don't talk for others. But if anything, I was attacked in the house. Most of you saw the video, it's very clear that I was humbly seated down. The man came with his charge, throwing his blow in the, in the air, and then came and started attacking me. So why do you blame me? Why do you suspend me? Why, of all things? Where does this leave uh, the image of parliament and members of parliament and your title, honorable? I think I will remain a honorable member of parliament because I've never misbehaved as a person. Even in these two instances where you are saying I fought, I was always attacked, and I warned, please don't attack me. I have said several times, you know a symbol is an elephant, they are cholis. So don't push an elephant with your hand. You can't manage. And that's very clear. So don't attack me. I'm very humble. And I think I have been calling for Ugandans to unite. Never talk about tribal sentiment. We did not apply to be in Uganda. Neither some would apply to be a Muganda, or a Musoga, or an Acholi, or a Munyankore. We found ourselves in Uganda. So never, never talk about tribalism. Let us be united as a country. The only way we can keep this country and hand it over to the new generation when it is united is by our unity now. Therefore, I want to condemn any person who think this was a fight between a Muganda and a Choli. This was Zake who attacked Anacholi, a humble person, but only that our weight are different. That's it. <laughs> I made it very clear that never try to uplift a leg of a man. You can uplift legs of women, but not men. That's, that's the first mistake. But secondly, don't push an elephant. Whether I'm the chairman or a normal Acholi, I'm, I'm warning you people. It is not, the Acholis are very humble people, but don't push, don't fight. That's it. And that's why I told you, I am not regretting. What I'm waiting for is an apology from Zake, who is younger than me, we should have respected me. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Especially fighting over a chair. I heard from him, he's telling me he, he, <laughs> that I sat over where he was seated. I mean, how many chairs can a member of parliament buy? And why do you fight for a chair in parliament? It doesn't make sense, if that was the reason. But to me, it was a transfer of aggression. He was annoyed. He could not maybe have fought, maybe he was prepared to fight the speaker or somebody else while he was throwing his hand. Now it's transfer of aggression. But the problem is, he transferred it to the wrong person. That's the problem. And that's my issue, please. Thank you. Number one, if you watch that video very well, the punch that we threw with Zake could have not taken him to a hospital. Even after that, he was kicking the air here and there. And he shows to you that either he was beaten by somebody else after that scaffold, or he's pretending. So I don't think there's a reason to check on him. That's number one. Because the punch that we threw with him, he was still kicking, and he, he could not land him to be maybe on drift or in the ICU. No. That was not a punch that can take him to a hospital. So either he was beaten by somebody else after that scaffold, or he's pretending. Because you see his coats are torn, what, and all that. How? At what particular point that did that happen? I don't know. Secondly, if there is anybody who tell me that I was planted, or oh, by government, or oh, that. I mean, I have never been planted by government, and I've never supported NRM government. And if you follow the answer of parliament, the last debate, I was one of the persons saying, this action is wrong. You cannot rationalize uh, uh, Uganda Coffee Development Authority. That's what I said on the floor of parliament. So how would you then think that I'm planted? But if I'm planted, how come he was the one who attacked me? Because if I came to attack him, you would say he was planted. 
If anything, you will say it was the one planted on me. And if you are saying because of where I sit, that's where I sit always. And you all know you are, you are journalists who sit in parliament. You've been focusing. Oh, if you don't have the record, go back and watch all the sittings of parliament. That's where I sit. And one of Ozake is a shadow minister, and there are places where a shadow minister sits, and there's a front bench. You wonder why the man comes to attack me where I sit. Because shadow ministers sit opposite the cabinet ministers. That's the position where I should be sitting. And above all, I mean, sit, fighting for a seat, it doesn't make sense for a member of parliament to be fighting for a seat. That is wrong. There must be something else. And that's Sera kekse andiko beba kafulu mukola kekize mikolo jonna oina mbaga kwanjula kuchala kuhinjira bathide bekwase atenga bakola ne delivery mu bitundu byegwanga byonna bakola ne decoration we mikolo jonna ne jibira lectzare bakubireko obukinge ngo obudde buchali kuziro musanvu musanvu mukaga chinana muemu 10 atano mumwenda beba sora kekse andiko